best-selling author and world-renowned tidying expert Marie Kondo is dedicated to inspiring the world to choose joy with the KonMari method. Hello, I'm Maria Kondo. My mission is to make the world a better place. Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Netflix review. My name is Leon Lush, and I'm so happy to have you here with me. Uh, if you missed the last Netflix review, that's well, that's because it, well, it doesn't exist. And in fact, this will be the only one that ever exists. Hi everyone, it's editing Leon from the future. Just wanted to address uh, the way the content is displayed in this video is a little different than you're probably used to. Wanted to apologize. Uh, I was backed into a corner here and had to make some adjustments in order to get you this video. And that's also the same reason we won't be doing any more Netflix-related content moving forward. I do believe this is 100% fair use, but it's just far, far too much of a hassle to, to have to deal with it. So, hope you like this one-off Netflix review. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, we'll see you later. Now, this video may be a little bit different than the norm, but I don't give a rat's ass what your typical YouTube viewing behavior is. I need you to pay close attention because this video may well save your life. Are you so balls deep in clutter that you forget what it feels like to even smile anymore? Is your marriage falling apart because you and your spouse are just simply unwilling to fold a single piece of laundry? Well, take a deep breath and buckle up because an adorable Japanese woman with some unorthodox tidying techniques is about to take us for a ride. So Tidying Up with Marie Kondo is a Netflix series that came out in January and it's really gained a lot of steam. Uh, Marie Kondo is a, is a lovely Japanese woman who is uh, making a living as a professional tidier. <laughs> that's, it's a little that's strange to say. Is, uh, that's, uh, she's, she's a master tidier. So Marie Kondo was like a multi-millionaire even before the Netflix special as a as a professional tidying consultant, right? She's had multiple books that have gone like quintuple platinum or something. I don't know if that's a metric for measuring book sales, but she's just very successful in the tidying space, which is... Uh, I'm, she may be the only person in the tidying space. I'm not actually sure. Anyways, the Netflix show comes out. It does really well. She's doing the rounds, getting on all the late night talk shows. She's on the Good Morning Americas. I think she was just at the Oscars. And uh, I want to know what the buzz is about. I probably wouldn't have known the show existed because I keep my head pretty far buried in the YouTube sand. But my wife, she's like, oh, this show's huge. All my friends love it. And she's like, sweetheart, in your omniscient wisdom and your proclivity for finding humor in the mundane, you should review this show for your channel. She didn't say it quite like that. I just use those words because I'm smarter than everyone watching this and I use big words so you guys know that. <laughs> so stop watching streams while you're supposed to be in English class listening to your professor. Well, unless you're like on your phone watching Leon Lush videos, in which case your English professor can get... F Anywho, let's see what all this buzz is about. By the way, parental guidance is suggested. It may not be suitable for all children. So children, if you're watching this, I beg of you, just have a parent near you because I can't be responsible for subjecting you to just way too much tidiness. I can't have that on my conscience. Oh, the show is also heartfelt and feel good, which is fantastic because most of the world is depressed and miserable all the time. So this should help. Jackson. Good job, Joaquin. Okay, Jackson is my son's name, so already I'm feeling this kindred connection uh, just off to a roaring start. And by the way, I love big umbrellas too, Marie. That is, that's what a coincidence. Where is it? Oh, Hi. Oh, my gosh. Hi. 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 Hello. I'm Bobby. So happy you're here. This is Ryan. Say hi, Marie. I feel so happy. <laughs> so Marie shows up at the house and heartfelt feel good doesn't even begin to describe it. I mean, I am beaming right now. And you get the picture. They do the intro, blah, blah, blah. We're the friends. We're the friend family. That's our, our last name is friend. That's we are, friend, we are, we're friends too, but we're also the friend family. Come on, the friend family? Nobody's last name is friend. That's ridiculous. What's next, the acquaintance family? out of here. Hi, we're the Best Buddies family. We're best, but what? Well, yeah, well, we are, we're best buddies, but also our last name is Best Buddies. I guess so it's, I guess it's both. <sighs> Nonsense. What Nonsense. do you want to say about us, babe? I don't know. We're, uh, we're fun. I'm we fun. <laughs> Roasted. He's fun too, though. Thank you. Oh, come on. Don't pussy out on the joke in like two seconds. So they spend the next chunk just introducing the family. They have two wonderful kids, uh, Kevin and Rachel Friend, just a lovely couple. 
Um, no, not Kevin and Rachel's friend. I mean, Kevin and Rachel friend. It's uh, friend is the last name. I know. Listen, I know it's confusing. I just I don't want to get into so it. So the friend family then shows Marie around the house into some of the war zones, right? The problem areas, and it's exactly what you'd think. You know, beautiful family, two kids, house is a little bit of a shit show. Not that bad, but it's exactly what you'd expect for a family with two kids. I mean, you have kids and they just terrorize everything. You can only do so much. So how do you separate them in categories or? Um, I think so. I don't do it. We have someone help us do it, like a, a laundry oh, person, because I hate doing laundry. We fight about laundry, and it seems silly when I say it, but really, it pisses me off. Like a lot. <laughs> Whoa, Kev, it's just laundry, baby. Relax. It's not a big deal. You know, it sounds silly when I say it, but I hate the fact that she doesn't do laundry. I mean, I wanna I wanna put my hands around her neck and slowly press the air out of her larynx and stuff one of my unfolded t-shirts in her mouth till she shapes up and learns how to fold it into a perfect rectangle and put it in my dresser. <laughs> it's, it just sounds a little silly when I say it. It becomes hectic and you have little energy and you have little time yeah. and then it becomes like all right are you are you cleaning this up am i doing this and, we, and the biggest fights we ever get into are money and cleaning Whew, kevin that is uh pretty powerful in the way you just described every married couple with kids ever i want to be a good dad but i don't know i don't know that i'm doing that well with it because i'm tired because i'm frustrated sometimes about the house oh man that sucks <clears throat> that sucks to say that they're getting the worst of me sometimes. I love how they set this up with the sentimental piano in the background and they got Kevin all like, I'm tired and I'm frustrated and I hate that. I hate that they're seeing that part of myself like Kev. I'm sorry, I hate to be the one to tell you this, bro, but that is literally the foundation of fatherhood. Okay, the incredible moments. I mean, they're there, they come and they go and they certainly make up for it, but tired and frustrated that's baseline right there for fatherhood listen i get it i have a six month old now and being unfathomably tired is just the new normal but it's like are you just gonna whine about it all the time or you just learn to deal with being unfathomably tired like if i if i take my mind off of actively keeping my eyelids open for even a second you just fall asleep doesn't matter where you are what you're doing you just instantly fall asleep you check this out i'm gonna distract myself and just think about something besides holding my eyelids open for like three seconds watch this <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck, what time is it? Anyways, enough of this family nonsense, all right? I want to see Marie Kondo pull out the big guns and put this family to work. Still I'd love to greet your house first. <gasps> I love that. I'm sorry. Sure. All we're communicating to the house is that we're thanking it, first of all, for always protecting you, and that we are about to begin this process of tidying. Okay, so she's about to have a moment of silence where she thanks the house before tidying it, and I don't think in this moment anything could be more Japanese than that. <laughs> Close the eyes. Nigel, close your eyes. Fuck off. Nig Thank you, house. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for loving me. Okay. You know what's funny is I've obviously I've never done that or thought about doing that. And it is nice to go, yeah, this has been a, a very good home for us. So Marie starts out with an exercise in gratitude, it looks like. And jokes aside, I'm kinda I'm kinda low-key digging that. You know, it's real easy to forget, lose perspective. You know what I'm saying? You're always thinking about the next thing or you're getting caught up in what's going wrong, what's next, and you just you gotta take a pause, just a moment to be like, damn, look at all this shit I got, man. I'm blessed, right? I like that. Thank you, Marie. I don't know how to fix it. It's, you know, so I'm, I'm happy that you're here because I want to feel like more calm. Listen, Rach, while I empathize with you, you know, Marie here is a professional tidier, okay? Not a marriage counselor. I'm going to need you to turn it down about five or six clicks for me. Appreciate that. The important is to hold each item one okay. by one. Okay, oh my gosh. Uh, will you touch the item that sparks joy for you? Okay. And um, you feel... Kyun. Oh, adorable. Kyun. 
皆さんときめきの感覚ってわかりますかそれは例えば子犬を抱いた時や自分の大好きな洋服を着た時のように感じるあったかい気持ちやポジティブな気持ちそれがときめきです。So this is an important step, right? When you're going through the clutter, when you touch an item and you're deciding whether to keep it or not, if that item doesn't spark joy for you, you get rid of it. You really have to feel that warmth, that joy, as if you were petting a puppy or put on an outfit for the first time. So we're going to try that out a little bit here. If we, the chainmail coif here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sparked a little something on a, a little something down low there. All right, we, we got a Snapchat ghost plushie. I <laughs> have so many good memories with you. Yeah, you're staying. I'll try Nigel out here. I'm not getting anything. I'm not. I'm not getting. When you let go of an item, you must thank it. Thank you. Thank you for letting me wear you.、Yeah. I like that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you got to thank your clothes also. Got it. When you're sitting there, you have to be able to tell your hands to 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 your Days to let them get their ish together. So let's do a little halftime recap. Thank your house. Speak loving words to your clothes. Only keep clothes that spark joy. Throw out everything else. Continue talking to your clothes and asking your clothes to marry you and telling how much you love them. Fold all your clothes into a perfect rectangle and store them neatly in the drawer as you tell them you love them. And don't let your kids mess up the whole operation in the meantime. Got it? Great. That'll be $1,500 for my consultation fee. You can just send the check in the mail. I appreciate it. All right. Well, if I'm going to steal the Marie Kondo method and start. Doing some tidying consulting myself, I figured I should probably become a practitioner, <laughs> at least in the short term, to at least get a feel for what I'm working with here. I thought I'd start with this spare bedroom. It's kind of become like my closet, and it is,、uh, oh boy, I mean, we are, it's a bit of a struggle right now. I'm going to be, you know, you know what, it's, this is a little overwhelming. Let's go ahead and just start with the hallway closet to begin with. I'm just going to start. Actually,、like, so、you know what? Hold on. Honey, can you come help me out for a second? All right, I just need you giving me a hand going through this closet.、Um, We're doing the Kondo Marie method, as you know.、Uh, I guess we might as well just start with some jackets. Oh, yeah, this was the jacket I, I wore for the views video. You remember this, hon? Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing's money. Don't we all just want to be internet famous, making videos in our basement? What do you think? Do I still got it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't lie to my face. I love you, jacket. You really served me well, Jacket. Thank you so much for everything, Jacket. This sparks a lot of joy. This joy is sparked right now. Joy is absolutely sparked. All right,、uh, what about this one?、Uh, what is this one?、Uh, I think that's the suit jacket you wore at our wedding. Is it? Yeah, it is. I'm not getting a whole lot of sparks out of it. A drawer full of Irish springs? What the hell is this? What is this doing in there? Is this an Italian sub? That is peculiar. Huh. Huh. It's not sparking a lot of joy, but that is delicious. Hmm. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're not supposed to laugh during the skit, you dick. Alright, what else we got in here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my god. Maxine! Forgot about you! Boy, has it been a while. Wow. I don't know, hon. You think I should keep her? We had some times together. Does it spark joy? It's a good question. It has been a minute. Oh, yeah. Joy's definitely being sparked. <laughs> I think we're off to a great start, so we're just going to take a break right now and we'll get right back to it. <laughs> Is... So, I think we're going to focus on the kitchen and the garage today. So, how about Rachel? You focus on the kitchen, and Kevin, you'll do the garage. So, Marie's back, and she starts delegating right away. Rachel, kitchen. Kevin, garage. Boom, let's get so it. So, your garage at home. How simple is it? Wow, okay. That's not to say that I'm perfect. I do have a section in my garage where I just kind of keep things that I meant to store, but it's a temporary space. <laughs> All right, I feel a little、uh, bit better. Are you kidding me, Marie? You have a place in your garage where you just put things that don't have a designated space where they go exactly? It's preposterous. How's anyone supposed to take advice from you? 
professional tidier, okay? More like professional, I just randomly put things in my garage -er. Pathetic. How can I even, who's, who even watches here this? Here is sort of the progress right here. So I've got everything sort of thrown in the middle. There's six plus bags of garbage here. <laughs> that was pretty incredible update vlog footage of the garage trash. This guy could make a pretty good YouTuber, honestly. This is what our kitchen looks like right now. There's stuff. Everywhere. Hey, bud. <sighs> Words to live by by Marie Kondo. I mean, when you're tidying, just take it one step at a time. And eventually, the tidying will be done. Whew, powerful stuff. Rachel and Kevin have a lot of feeling Hell yeah, baby! This is what we all came for, finally! Getting rid of the sentimental shit! Okay, I want to see the tears start to flow like Patron shots at a bachelor party. I want to see unadulterated, emotionally charged carnage. Finally! Let's go! Let's get it! Wait, what is this bullshit? Can we get... I love that. Thank Can you. Can we get some crying, yes, please? Oh, here we go. Wedding. wedding stuff. And so they're all like here. We have to set a reminder to you to put frames. Okay. 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 She loves how you two are. <laughs> love you. Okay, what is this? They're cracking jokes with each other? Are they getting rid of that? Are they keeping it? I don't know. I'm just like, I'm, this is a letdown. Absolute zero out of ten. No crying. Complete disappointment. I love how Kevin and I are. I've noticed a difference in him, even just his demeanor. We haven't been nitpicking on each other and actually have been enjoying our time. Kevin and I's relationship just at a different place. I mean, talk about a package deal. Marie Kondo shows up. Not only does she teach you how to fold pants and shirts, she gives you permission to clean the kitchen and the garage, and the next thing you know, your marriage is saved. <laughs> Are you what a deal? Literally, if, if you felt my chest right now, it's like my heart's beating. I'm sorry, what was that? If you felt my chest right now, it's like my heart's beating. You see, this is great news because if it wasn't beating, <laughs> you'd be dead. Oh my goodness, Ooh, the final inspection. <laughs> I sent her a message. You know, we're going through a process right now and we're just trying to learn how to fold our laundry, so I don't think I'll be using you. And she said, I'm so happy that you found something that works for you. Fired the laundry folder? Check. <laughs> Marie Kondo taught me how to fold my own pants. Take that, haters. I can't get my day started now until I make my bed. She's been making it every day. You want every day. I didn't realize the importance of everything having a home. How's the folding? Great. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited. All right, I can handle some gushing over a clean house. Marie comes in, she motivates you to go through a bunch of stuff, throw some stuff out, rearrange a few things, organize it. Looks great. I'm so happy for you. But don't for a second try to convince me that folding your shirts into perfect little rectangles and stacking them vertically in the drawer is somehow sustainable because it's not. That is bullshit. You're lying to me. You're lying to everyone watching on Netflix. And I'm mad at you. Vertically stacked, perfectly folded shirt rectangles. F out of here this room looks completely different i just never felt at ease in here listen you did the dishes and put a couple things in the cupboard don't pretend like you sunk a thirty thousand dollar renovation into this bitch all right you clean the kitchen Fucking bravo kevin's excited about the garage he worked hard on this damn kevin my guy that garage is looking tidy af brother from one father to another you have given me a full-fledged boomer erection Hallelujah! Marie, she changed my life. It's just insane how like my mentality has changed. We're really happy. We're just looking forward to living this way for, for the rest of our lives, hopefully. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's been amazing. Thank you for that like we could do it. And we just needed a little bit of... This is such a dramatic, family-friendly, wholesome ending to a 45-minute episode of you guys essentially just cleaning your house. That's that's really what this has been. Okay, so my knee-jerk reaction is that Marie Kondo is, is a boss, right? Love her to death. Absolute, just radiates big dick energy. And I know that's a strange thing to say about a petite Japanese professional tidier, but it's true. She's got like, she's worth like $8 million just traveling around the world selling millions of books, just telling people to clean their room, basically. The worrisome thing is that apparently there's so many people that feel they need permission from some sort of outside consultant to clean their own house. So they like fly her in and it's like, what do we do? And she's like, okay, um, 
fold the clothes, clean your kids' room, do those dishes, clean the garage, and uh, I'll be back in like a month and see how you did. Wait, clean the kitchen? The gr- the garage? <laughs> you want me to fold? You want me to fold my laundry? Oh, I Okay, I guess we could try. Then Marie comes back a few weeks later. Holy shit, what do you know? The house is clean. The marriage is saved. Marie's a hero. I just, it's no, the, no wonder this show is doing so well. I, it's, I, I, well, I don't, I guess I don't really get it, actually. It's just people cleaning their house. Oh, and of course it looks perfectly for the filming of the show, right? Marie Kondo's coming back for the final checkup. The house is going to be spotless. But I would bet my life that if you go back a month later and open up a dresser drawer, there is not a single perfectly folded rectangular t-shirt placed vertically next to the other one. You're not fooling anybody. Oh, and to any haters out there that want to question my ability to make an objective review of your favorite show, I brought my Netflix reviewer credentials along. So you can read those and weep those. <laughs> yeah, sure, it may look like the quick setup guide to a printer, but, <laughs> you know, exactly. So... Okay, make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. <laughs> Appreciate you. See you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.